why don't we start with you? I just got a chance to finish watching the film and, and really enjoyed it. Um, why don't you sort of set the scene for us a bit and um, describe sort of the, the narrative uh, uh, construct of the film and, and what these two couples are facing at the outset and, and then a little bit about which, why you wanted to make this film. Um, okay, so The Wheel is an, an intimate drama about uh, a young couple who goes up to uh, an Airbnb uh, in, in the forest uh, for a weekend away to try and, they're on the brink of divorce and they're trying to solve, um, to see if they could save their marriage um, by going up and kind of isolating themselves. Um, and there they meet uh, an older couple, not old by any means, but uh, Am uh, Amber and... Um, Amber and Taylor uh, are, well, that's their, their actors' names. They, the young couple got married very young. They meet a, an older couple. By the way, you can see I'm terrible at this. Um, uh, who, who rent them this Airbnb. And then you find out that the older couple is actually about to be married. So you have a younger couple who's been together for eight years. And then you have an older couple who is actually just about to be married. And, um, you know, through the weekend, they kind of struggle through um, the kind of issues in their, in their respective relationships. Um, why I wanted to do the film? Well, you know, I'm known for comedy. Uh, I've done, uh, spent a lot of my career writing and directing comedy and these young producers, uh, Josh, Josh Jason and Molly Galula had brought me the script at a time when, um, you know, it was during COVID. So no one was working. And, you know, I, I did say to the young producers, did you, look at my IMDb before you sent me the script. Um, but, you know, I, the script really resonated me with me, with me. And, and from the challenge of, um, of working um, on a movie where your you know, main preoccupation is the emotional perspective of the characters is very, very different than comedy. Um, and it was a great challenge for me. And, and we had a very small crew. There was 25 of us, um, including cast. Uh, and um, I was working with a young cinematographer, Bella Gonzalez, and we were trying, you know, and so the opportunity to make a small intimate film was extremely appealing to me. Yeah. Uh, and I was thrilled to be able to get the opportunity to do it. Yeah. Well, I thought it was really interesting about how, what it showed about relationships and how the, their, the sort of shifting perspectives of the different characters throughout the, course of the film and so for the actors for Taylor Bethany and Nelson I'd love to hear a little bit from you guys from each of you about you know where your character is at the start and how they sort of evolve during the course of the film. Walker uh, starts the film in a very precarious sort of situation in that as Steve had said he's been with his wife now uh, eight years even though they're still young they uh, they've had a lot of history together and they've kind of reached a breaking point. Um, I think they both feel their relationship is on the rocks coming to an end. Um, Albie has every intention of ending their marriage when they go up to uh, the mountains, whereas Walker thinks this might be uh, another chance at things to kind of set off on the right foot again. And so that's where they begin. And through this weekend, um, it takes them to this sort of, it's not the penultimate, that is the ultimate scene at the end on the wheel where they kind of come forth with everything that they haven't communicated and you hear what they've been holding on to and what's been holding them back and kind of their entire relationship is encapsulated in that moment. But you get it juxtaposed to what you had said, the parallel of this other relationship, uh, a couple that's older than they are yet um, more nascent and that they are just about to get married. And so it's really interesting to sort of see that dynamic and kind of follow them through a very real weekend in their life uh, and something that's very impactful on Walker as a person. Yeah, Carly um, is a person who on the outside just ha you know, it's all, has it all put together and um, kind of sees how her life is going and it's how she has it planned. She's also a helper and a fixer. and um, maybe sort of realizes as the film progresses that um, she's she's gotten herself engaged to someone that she's partially trying to fix and um, 
it, yeah, like, I, I think it's it's been said that the the film explores different kinds of love in different ways that we love, and that's not necessarily a a bad thing to want to help someone. Um, but what does that mean when you uh, when it's when it's taking you down a path that is not going to necessarily be great for you and um yeah we get to see carly's journey on that the way that steve kind of wrote this and orchestrated everything was you see this interesting kind of dovetailing between our two the two couples we see each other we're basically mirrors to each other and you see throughout the film that you know we start out thinking we know we're fine everything's good on the surface but really it's not and they come thinking everything's broken we kind of switch positions throughout the film which is lovely and you know and at the end we're forced to see through them that we're actually a broken couple and the things that we maybe just didn't want to admit to ourselves Carly and Ben finally becomes impossible to ignore because we're watching this couple seemingly break apart with up in front of them but that Right. When you see that, sometimes it mirrors, you, you know, it kind of resonates with you. And that's exactly, I think, what happens but between the two of them. I don't I don't think Ben ever wants to admit it. I think he would have gone through with the, the, wed the marriage. But Carly finally is forced to be like, no, this is not right. This is broken. And I think that's a really lovely device that not device, but the way that Steve wrote it. Yeah. So for each of you, I'd love to hear. You know, you've, you've grappled with this script, you know, over the course of making it and then since since it's been been completed. Um, what do you hope the audience takes away in terms of a message or a feeling at the end of the film? Steve, why don't we start with you? Um, I'm always struck by and, and I'm, I'm struck by how hard it is to know yourself and then to know yourself with others, and then to always do the right thing by that person and by yourself. I, I find that fascinating and making this, I, I find it a fascinating thing for me, I've been married 23 years. And so it's very, I, 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 in making this movie, it, I, every day I was reminded of how hard it was. And in, you know, you look at Ben's behavior, for instance, um, he's not doing the very thing he's supposed to be doing in this kind of cheerfully kind of oblivious way, right? Like the thing that will, you know, whatever, express uh, his, you know, his love for this woman he's about to marry is, is in the simple building of the altar for them to get married on. And he can't somehow bring himself to do it. And yet he doesn't seem to have this crisis built around that you would think like oh I, there must be a problem emotionally with me if i can't seem to build this thing for this woman that i'm that i that i'm that i'm to love and so i'm just always i was always fascinated by that in in, in the making of the movie and watching how people behave and of course amber you know uh, albie is the opposite right like albie is overtly acting in this incredibly hostile way all the time so you can either decide that she's just a horrible person Right. That's one choice. She's a horrible person without redemption. And we should just stop watching the movie immediately because there's just no there's no reason why anyone would ever behave that way, um, uh, except to call them you know, evil. And so since we have since we can't come to that conclusion, we have to come to another conclusion, which is that she's feeling a lot of pain and she's going through an extreme um, it's, it's, she's finding it extremely difficult. Um, and I think we all do at times figuring out who she is and what she deserves, right? Obviously she doesn't believe she deserves love at all. Obviously she doesn't believe that she de deserves Walker's love. Um, and maybe maybe she doesn't even believe in love. And then there's the other aspect, which is, then there's the going forward part, which is trying to figure out who you are and what you want in life. And so I'm fascinated by that stuff. And the, um, the four actors that we had to engage in those questions in our movie um, with, you know, made it very special for me and made it very, very special for me as a director to, to try and, you know, to try and tell a story with all those things happening. Taylor, what, what do you hope the audience takes away and what did you take away from the script? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I guess at, at the core of it all, I would hope it's an hour and a half of just entertainment and maybe escapism from what everyone is going through. But I, I always find it so interesting when, uh, you see things from another perspective and it's sort of mirrored where, I mean, we're seeing relationships and sacrifices and how difficult they can be, as Steve was saying. And 
um, knowing ourselves and how much to give and receive. And I find it so much easier when you're watching it in someone else or when you see it in your friends or family around you, as opposed to introspectively with yourself. And so hopefully in people watching the film, they can see things that um, mirror things in their own lives. And, and I don't know if it's necessarily learning experiences, but just different perspectives that they take from it um, and that they just sort of enjoy the journey as tragic as it is. Mm. Bethany? Mm. I, I guess the same as, as any story and kind of piggybacking on what Taylor said, just when you see um, a story, especially like this, that's so intimate and so about the emotional journey of these characters that you just have empathy and perhaps you see something that uh, makes you think a new way about uh, someone you know or, or someone that um, may be going through something similar, I think you know, empathy is, is a, a great reason to, uh, to have a story be told. <laughs> yeah. And finally, Nelson. Yeah. I mean, I think the great thing about this film is it's really, even though it's four people dealing with each other's relationship, it's people dealing with themselves. We're all in our own little kind of uh, battle, you know, to know, you know, to, to thine own self be true. Sometimes you, you think you're doing, I think Ben's trying to do that, right? But his own self is kind of shitty. So, <laughs> and I think he realizes that throughout and you think he's able to like deflect that and think everyone has that in them. And I think that's relatable. We all have something that we don't tell ourselves like, no, I'm, I'm good at that, but you're really not. And then when you're finally faced to, to deal with it, it kind of sometimes has, you know, ramifications like maybe destroying a relationship or someone else's relationship, which is always interesting to watch. And it's so human and so relatable. Yeah, I would just, I would just add that, well, A, they, uh, that Bethany and, and Bethany, Ben, uh, I mean, first of all, I have to just say, I haven't slept in a long time. I just came from <laughs> So apparently my ability to speak, I've, I'm overconfident about my ability to speak now because I You're just- You're doing great. Um, uh, but <laughs> Nelson and, and Bethany and Taylor all said it best, I think. I think compassion and empathy are crucial um to understanding why you're even watching this movie and 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 reflecting back on our lives for sure um i want i want people to think it's worth it i want people at the end of the movie to understand that it's that it's worth it that 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 we're all flawed humans and we're deserving of love and compassion i i, I that's that i deeply want people to come away after watching the film think feeling that mm -hmm.